welcome back to another 10 days on the jump it man last time we did not jump this time we deduced that the uh, mystery of the ghost fart is a ghost spooky all right game plan monday wednesday friday death road to canada saturday super amazing wagon adventure because i need to stop messing up with missing to upload so yeah here we are oh yeah that's right i can bring swole swan on missions now which i will immediately regret by the way <laughs> yeah something along the lines of that Okay. Oh, hi! Alright, well... And now we live. So, um, other than that... been playing around with a couple of different games let me tell you uh, th that game that people are talking about on Roblox called doors actually pretty solid from a uh, horror game standpoint has a great way of building tension each door you go through you don't know uh, what it's gonna bring it's like um spookies if uh, you've ever seen that Um, overall, it's pretty solid. I was a wuss, and because my friends died, uh, I chickened out on door 90. I know, I'm lame. Just not a horror game kind of person. Take that tank video gas, thank you. Chassis can go through something more. We'll repair and then ditch it by next drive-in looting city in the store oh <laughs> oh yeah okay first objective coffee shop let's go right now I don't care if I bring you two into the fire, because guess what? Swole Swan isn't going to get engulfed, so I'm fine with it. Alright, there we go. And now I just become the living windshield wiper. You aren't going to find a better attack rate than this. Oh, hey, look, Zombos. Goodbye, Zombos. These Zombos don't exist. They're merely a figment of your imagination. See, look, there's nothing there. Uh, what's another game I've played? Oh, yeah, uh, The Escapist Walking Dead, because I have seen a lot of people on the challenge run channel say you should do the escapist you should do the escapist walking dead um i don't ever want to do a challenge run for the escapist mainly because it won't be that interesting uh the walking dead though i mean yeah i guess i can but uh first i'd like to actually uh, beat the game uh get well versed with research uh do runs of other games that way it's not just uh the escapists and then the escapists and then i don't know i guess the survivalists which not many people liked from what i could tell um 
I'm trying to think. Um, I did the tutorial and then the first of the four main locations, and it's it's interesting. Let me tell you, it's a bit of a headache trying to figure out certain things, and um, yeah, the, the wiki is not a help at all. It's even less informative than the Escapist 2. So that's a big whoop, I guess. And that's it for looting. Okay. Got a dexterity increase, so I will not complain. Broke down, let's repair it. Come on. Yep, there it is. Perfect rock. Let's. I'm supposed to swan do it. Yay. Berry picking in the zombie games. I'm gonna go to sleep. Half my party will become tired, and I do not want that to happen. Oh, okay, this is a good one. I think, I think, I really think, and I hope. Dentist office. Let's see. Um. Oh. Composure. Uh. Oh, fooey. I guess I'll do Glurge for the sensitive soul. I was hoping it was a composure one. Uh. Dink door, we're going to. Now, this one, I believe. The Dink door, door of dinks. If uh, you have a character that says, I'm not a dink, they will lose one attitude and one composure. And at this point, I'm fine with sacking one point of attitude for that point of composure. I want an angry, strong character. Really badly. ABL and the gas station siege. Comedy. I mean, it was very uh, unwise of me to try and loot that while zombos were crowding, but. Shoot! Well, I mean. It's not the worst. I mean, look. Sure, everyone might have taken a point of damage, but at least Swole Swan's still at full health. And I believe that is what is important. And now I can sit here and wait. Okay, we open the door, and we just let the Zombos filter in. Let's go. Death Road sing along. Gonna plan out tomorrow. 
because all of our morale is already at maximum, and low attitude characters, I believe, would put a little hampering on that. New gun in town? No. Uh, choose your fate. Now that's an angry strong response. K-Man goes on a rampage! Yay! Going to EBL into Swarmed Arcade. We don't have to drive in, and... Gas! That all... Be said, need be do. Yes? Mm-hmm. Okay, what's the capsule machine gonna be? Sure. I got shorter and my hair turned purple. What an odd combination. Dismantle the arcade machine and get that gas. Wrap around to the top, smack all these sambos, loot that, smack those sambos, and then just get out. Wait, did, is there a door up here? Did I loot that? Yes, I did. Okay, goodbye. Barricading for bed. We're going to pick someone to secure it. It will obviously be Wizbot. Busted leg. Caveman, help her leg. I want to. I can't. Let's take Swarm Department just to loot. I want to take Giant Animal. It won't last. I don't have the gas saved up to make it last. Here, have a bet. Nope. Nope. And... More doors! Not to be confused with Mordor. Nope. Oop. Hmm. I'm in a very happy mood. I'll let... Okay, there we go. Interesting that the green fluid, which normally would increase the height, reduced it this time. All right, here's our big loot room. We got gas, we got medical, we got all sorts of zazz. And yeah, that was it. Toilet! Ooh. 
And you know what? I'm I'm gonna say it. This day did well. This episode is flying by really fast, despite me going into a lot of looting locations. It's because they're small, I guess. We likely will have a uh, a uh, a more lengthened video whenever uh, the car breaks down and we run out of gas. We still have a while before that, so who knows? Maybe we'll get a looting location with Vroom Vroom. Giant spider attack. What does this do? Uh I want a uh a high attitude character to do it. So yeah. It's for food, and only one person loses morale versus the entire party, so it's just better to smush the spider in most cases. Car breakdown, Wiz attempts to fix it. Bustling city. Car might go boom. I just want to get away from that thing because I have a very sneaking suspicion that it might go boom. Nothing. Okay. Nothing again. Alright, thanks game. Nothing of value. You know what? As a question of unusual happenstances, which character uh, in the next episode will have something impactful happen to them first? And what I mean by that is um, they will have some meaningful change, be it a stat increase, a stat decrease, or, like, physical appearance, or, uh, even, like, with the, the demon Hecatrius just completely, uh, changing the locked weapon to be objectively worse. Because, um, like, each character has their own thing that, you know, they can benefit from, like, if I somehow shake hands with death, that's going to go on to Swole Swan. If I get the head swap doctor, it could go on to Wizbot. It could go on to someone else. Depends the head. I uh, could have um, the green fluid again, and then I might take that and give it to someone else. Could wish for Im immortality on Swole Swan. We could get Coffee Shop and put that on to Wiz 3. There's a lot of different possibilities here. Or, I mean, like, who even knows? Caveman could die. Or something like that. You never know. But yeah, so, impactful meaning a permanent change. Or, well, like, 
isn't immediately uh, reversible. So, not damage, is what I'm saying. Alright, well, we're gonna try this. I see zero bars on that chassis. Okay. We have little. Oh! Oh, okay? So now our chassis's better, and we just don't consume that much gas, I believe. Miserable camping. Oh well. ABL into... I'll do Dark Mansion. Might as well pad out the watch time. <laughs> I am so comical. Not really. Um, is this going to be our designated? Yep. Terrible wing. It's really odd. It's supposed to generate better. And we already dead end with the pantry, okay. Oh no, the haunted fridge. And kitchen? No, living area that could segue into kitchen. Like right here. Nope. Right here? No, I'll leave that for later. What? Flaming chair. Alright, I think this is the loot room. We got the sword, which isn't really useful, I don't believe. Any takers? Any takers? Yeah, that's why I thought no one wants the Mega Knight Blade. Nobody wants the Mega Knight Blade. room with gas can, I believe. Or is that just random room that gets stuff stored in it? This is a bathroom. Oh wait, I can... <clears throat> Give me my toilet! Not that great whenever you really think about it. None of the furniture items are really good anymore besides cars. Which, <laughs> yeah, good luck to me ever actually getting the strength needed to lift one of those. If that were to happen, uh, Tunnel Gauntlet would be way better. I can definitely tell you that much.
I must say, oddly shaped in rooms. You know what, I'm gonna say it. I really do feel how much faster it is now that we have Swole Swan back in looting. What the ceiling bandits? <laughs> Look at all of these <laughs> options. We, quite literally, cannot lose, except for with offering a compromise. I think our team at this point qualifies for almost every dialogue option in the game. Bees! Caveman swats the bee. Except for, like, uh, pet-specific ones, like, uh, dog eating the spider and whatnot. Trader camp. Oh. It's time for this iconic thumbnail. Welcome to the fence of values. Silenced weapons, mechanical training, um, uh, medical healing, heavy ordinance. Here is your T-Nomi. Shotgun ammo, bullets, and fire axe. With that... Let's start the car and give her. And then, of course, go through Siege Vent. Which, this time, it's the Cabin Siege. One of the worst ones, I will admit. We have some foliage to curb the numbers. First caveman. Get in. Oh. You see, folks, this is how you can have a character die despite them having six health. Not realizing where they are in a siege event and then just them getting obliterated. Alright, anyways, let's go into this uh, bathroom and we're going to be perfectly safe essentially. We got 15 minutes left of the siege, it's fine. Alright, let's get out of here. Looking at status, morale and, random, bleh, morale and random skill gain will probably be what we end up going for. Unless if there's something just way better. Like, for example... Da, 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 da. Full heal. Yeah, no thanks, I'm good. Oh, 
the full heal option is really only useful for newer players, I believe. Newer players and early in the run, because healing supplies are going to be hard to get because you're not going to have good healers. So, getting a full heal would potentially be preferable to stack gain. But even then, no, get stack gain. Never do full heal. Okay. Alright, we can finally sell this. Probably should have taken the Mega Knight Blade, it's probably more valuable. The boot. Hey, oh, Boomer can go back in the trash. Alright, our traders are going to be medical supplies, shotgun ammo, military weapons depot, and of course we have our tea no me that I will get to in a moment after I steal this food with the Hey, get out of my heels! Alright. Our tea no me of this trader camp. Four food, four medical, eight food. With that, let's get in the car. And floor it. What will be our looting location for this day? Preppers prepares magazine. Pre prepare, prepare, pre 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 doesn't matter. It it does not matter. Currently six forty eight days. Two looting locations left. Take a deadly Omar. A lead up makes it so I'm not going to take that much chassis damage because the parking lot tends to be more vertical than horizontal. So yeah, this is good. enough clearing out the outside, let's get in on the inside. I think probably the most iconic location to go to besides, you know, the Canada border and then the city of uh, was it Lost Hope or Crushed Hopes? I don't know. Probably both. Probably neither. No. Um, it'd probably just be Yalmart. There are a lot of different looting locations that give Yalmart layouts. And, uh, you know, you got, like, the the special body skin for, all, for a lot of the Zombos. It's very large, a lot of loot to be had. Memorable, overall. Oh, I nearly forgot about that one food.
Nope. Well, that's a fire. Bathroom? No, more storage room. It feels so nice to just run over all of this collectible loot and then just hearing bring, 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 bring. Love it. Let's just get out of here. Woo! Driving range last stand. We're going to hotwire the golf ball collector. We could also shoot golf balls at the zombies because we have a fitness stat that is great enough for it. Uh, Armored Garage! Yeah, sure. Okay, we take one more gas per drive, but we do get armor. Granite City! Ah, uh, grocery store. Last looting location of the video. Let's do it. Fuddy Myers. Now what? Let's start over with the left, honestly, actually. Because we will want to clear out the horde of zombos on the right by the end of it anyhow. So, why don't you just deal with this right now? Loot. Loot. And we're looting. We're looting fun, we're looting fine. Got skull with spine accessory. Classic weapon. Absolutely classic. Not as classic as the meat cleaver, though. That home slice got a special place in my heart. You see, early game, uh, like, okay, well, late game it's like the meat cleaver, yeah, it's pretty bad. But early game, having a weapon that could potentially get two kills off with just a small chance to break, it's just, oh, you carry a few of them and then you're all good. Like, on a normal mode run, that could probably carry you through, uh, like the Canada Siege. I just, and it's also like, early on, it's like, cleave is on nothing. You had a rare chance of having it happen with, what is, Uzi, okay, cool. You had a rare chance of it happening with, um, a sturdy machete, but, um, meat cleaver, I think, was guaranteed? Which is what made it really fun to use, because it was like, oh, I'm hitting two zombies at once. You're doing a lot. In your mind. Really? That's it for looting? Alright. Just one more building. And that's it. Now we just need to clear out these zombos in the way and then we're good to go. Oh, really? You just had to go and spawn right there? 
these two were gone, hop in the car, start it up, and floor it. We're out. No damage on the way we leave. 677 zombies destroyed, 13 gas guzzled, 1 medical consumed, and... Barricading before bed once more. Of course, we are going to go ahead and pick someone to secure it, which will be Wizbot. Thank you for watching another 10 days on the death road to Canada. Halfway through this leg of the journey of 100. Next episode, start the second half of our 600s. Yeah. Goodbye!